Hey guys, this is Mike from Mike's Multimedia. Today I'm going to test out whether or not I can fire this Canon based Godox 360 flash system using a Nikon DSLR with a Nikon R2 transfer. So I'm going to get this set up and run some tests and let's see how they perform. show you right now and this is the DSLR to Nikon D800 so we'll put that aside for now and just focus on this because I want to show you something real quick which is really informative so let me zoom into this uh, LCD screen so what I'm going to do is basically um, I'm going to trigger this flash using its inherent Canon based system I want to show you something and then I'm going to turn this off reset this and just turn it off and on turn the flash back on the Canon flash back on and I'm going to show you what happens when you trigger it just by hand using the R2 system here for Nikon. So let's do that. Alright, so right now I'm going to turn the Canon base 360 here. You can see the model number. I'm going to turn it on just using the battery pack. And, and as you can see there, that's what we get. Uh, now I'm going to grab the actual Canon uh, X, X1 transmitter. See, just kind of show you. And I'm going to now trigger the flash, which is on channel one, group B. Just going to do a test. Well, actually, oh, it's too close. Okay, yeah, you can't put these things too close. So pull it away, do a test, test fire, and there we go. Now, what I'm trying to show you here, uh, I'm going to have to use the LCD screen, is. Right up here in the center, just on the top, it says Canon. All right, that's it says Canon, just says Canon. Now, I'm gonna turn this Godox, I mean the uh, Canon transmitter off. All right, see it still says Canon. And now I'm gonna grab the R2 transmitter designated for Nikon, which you can't really tell because it's scraped off. But trust me, there's an N there. And I'm gonna turn this on. Again, it's uh, set at 128th manual. Uh, for the, uh, this is an icon uh, on, on channel one, group B. Ready? I'm going to fire it. Oh, pull it away. Too close. There we go. It's fired. Now guess what, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? What does that say in there? It says Nikon. Okay, so when you use, so in a nutshell, when you're using the Nikon-based R2 transmitter for this system, for this whole Godox sub-brand name system, all right, this Nikon base changes that to Nikon, and I'm gonna just see turn this on. I'm gonna, oh, and just by turning it on, it's actually turns it to Canon. And obviously, I'm gonna pull it away to fire it, and I got them both on now. See if they both work simultaneously together. Yep, I can I can have these in both hands, both on, both same channels, fire one respectively, and it'll change that Nikon to Canon, Canon to Nikon. All right, so that's just one thing I wanted to show you. Uh, on how this flash off camera, this is the key, off camera, is working with the two different kinds of Canon or Nikon transmitters. I'm going to now change the Nikon um, in, in group B, I'm going to change the mode to TTL. Okay, I'm going to pull it away and do a test fire. There we go. Now we see ITTL uh, indicated in the screen here. Remember this is Canon, see, see, Canon. ITTL, Nikon. Test flash again, there. Now let's go ahead and change the Canon uh, to TTL. Let's see what it puts in there. Is that negative one? Adjust it, set it. Full-fledged TTL. Canon transmitter, Canon 360 flash firing. Guess what? Not only did it change, it not only was it responsive to Canon, it, it changed it to ETTL. So these guys are all communicating. So now let's take this out to the field and test this out. Uh, just actually see if the flash power is properly manipulated between these two flashes. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and pack this all up, take it on out, and do some sort of meaningful test shot. 
out here at this location. We're gonna uh, set up a couple flashes. We're gonna use the, my, uh, my little dummy head here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, shoot uh, in TTL and do some adjustments and see and uh, make sure that this will work uh, in the field uh, in a location with some distance and actually shooting with the flash. I'm shooting with the the Y adapter on the power pack for the uh, 360. This gives it a quicker recycle time. Now shooting in high speed sync, I'm actually hearing this thing takes a full minute or I mean, a full second for it to, to recharge. So I'm gonna back that off, just underexpose that background by two. Focusing on the closest eye and letting TTL do its thing, which it's doing just fine. Right now I'm just still underexposing the background by two stops using foliage. Coming back over recomposite recomposing on the eye at 2.8. Letting TTL do its thing. And manual is also uh, definitely working as well. I just dial it in. What I basically did today was demonstrate to you that you can actually use the Godox 360 Canon version off camera with uh, the counterparts or the other uh, name brand uh, transmitter and body and have successful TTL manual results and high speed sync. You know, cause once that information gets into the transmitter and gets transmitted to the flasher, the flash unit uh, will recognize who's sending it and what to do. As you can see in the in the LED indicators, you've got Canon and Nikon will, will switch out uh, on the LCD screen. Again, this is all off camera. In practical sense, I hope this has been a good exercise or just a good update to you because I, I didn't find anything online uh, on this particular topic. Uh, it's mentioned very briefly uh, in the manual and in a couple of one-liners in some of the feature sets when you go look at the flash. So go look at the flash, see if you can find out what I'm talking about. It's not something that people do once they buy what is this flash. They're either buying a Canon or a, a night or whatever respective flash. But I ended up having to get to this flash uh, when I was shooting a Canon a few months ago, and I have the flash now. I, I thought I, could, I just would have to box it, but now I'm able. To, I've got two of them actually, so now I'm able to utilize them as extra flashes uh, when I'm shooting with my Nikon DSLR uh, and using the Nikon R2 transmitter. So I hope this has been informative for you. Um, let me know uh, what your thoughts are, and I'll talk to you soon.